The gods of Olympus so loved Pelops that they reconstructed his body from the parts salvaged from the casserole and the parts that Demeter vomited up. The butchered flesh was gathered up, but the left shoulder blade had been digested by Demeter. Hephaestus forged a new shoulder blade from ivory, and Clotho placed the gathered flesh and the ivory shoulder blade in a cauldron. She boiled the cauldron, stirred the pot, and span forth a reconstructed pelops. So beautiful was the newly formed youth that Poseidon fell in love with him and conveyed him to his home at Olympus. Poseidon made Pelops his apprentice charioteer and taught the boy the skills of the great masters. Zeus, however, harboured a resentment, a bitterness against the heir of Tantalus, and, still enraged by the foul actions of his mortal son, flung Pelops from the heights of his new home. Pelops span and tumbled as he fell through the air. From the heights of Olympus, through the clear, clean air, he crashed into the rock-strewn ground, his body shattered on the rocks, his skin grazed on the gravel. He lay still for a long time. Eventually, his body twitched. His consciousness stirred. His eyes opened. Slowly, in great agony, he raised himself from the ground. With his face blackened with the scars of bruises, his limbs twisted and deformed, his body racked with pain, Pelops roamed the earth.